You caught a flounder in the weight, David. Oh no. That is catching well, eh? You couldn't ask for a better catch, could you? Oh, yes. You could ask for it. <laughs> okay. One. How many were there? 52. 52. So what do you do? Throw them all back, David. Right oh. We don't want any flounders, do we? No. Right, so 52 you're allowed 60. But we've got It's taking us in now? Yeah, we've taken them in, yep. And we'll so we've decided to do the good deed and return some flounders to the water. Yeah, about 450 flounders. Yes. And he will show you how he does it. He actually enjoys doing this. Show you how I release them. Give them a big kiss and over they go. We're only allowed 15 flounders, so I would say we'd have, on this net, 45. we would be close to the two nets, 100 fish or more. Most of what we've got in the box will go back overboard. We're only allowed, all these flounders. We're only allowed 15, and that will give us 60 for the day. Steve's getting great enjoyment from throwing flounders overboard. This is what you call floundering. This is, this is how you do. This is how you do it. So he decided to throw them that one, that way. So that'll be back on the net in a moment. Right, we're nearly at the end of the net. Yeah. The locals have got their binocs on us this morning. They'll be working it out. Why are we catching fish and throwing them over? If they only knew. Because they know that we're good boys and we only take our legal amount. That is correct. There is no sense of getting caught and losing your boat and your car and having to walk home. Beautiful day here. <gasps> that was, oh, oh, I could have cried. That one was a good, big, fat one. I think Steve's ever seen so many flounders. They are nice. And I, these are only babies to what they do get here at certain times of the year. They get some big ones. Yeah. Okay. I'll